There you go. This is it. Your dream gaming laptop 2022. Hey guys, Vimal here and welcome back to my channel. So whenever I say dream gaming stuff, this thing has to have certain set of qualities guys. It has to meet your next level expectations. And there you go, it has arrived. A new gaming laptop from ROG. This is the 2022 edition Strix Car Series gaming laptop. So in this also we have like two models just like every year. We've got 15 inches and 17 inches and we have the top of the line model in the house for review. This is the 17 inches G733 gaming laptop guys and this particular laptop packs like next level features and hardware guys like killer specs on board it's powered by intel's newest 12th gen i9 cpu guys 14 core 20 thread cpu pair that with rtx 3070 ti with up to 150 watt tgp 32 gigs of ddr5 ram 2 tb pci gen 4 ssd and talking about the display it's got a 1440p display with 240 hertz refresh rate 3 milliseconds ips panel I'm like super excited to unbox and show it to you in this video. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So our new 2022 edition of the Strix car series from ROG comes in this sort of box packaging. It says for those who dare and has a beautiful ROG logo on the front side. And this is a 17 inch variant of the laptop guys also available in 15 inches. So let me give you all a closer look and talk about the specs and the highlights. So Strix car 17 is actually available in two display variants. We have the WQHD variant and comes with a 17.3 inch 1440p display with 240 hertz refresh rate, 3 millisecond response time and also supports Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos and these sort of stuff. Powered by Intel's newest 12th gen i9 CPU, this is a monster guys. Pair that with RTX 3070 Ti with up to 150 watt TGP and has MUX switch also on board, 32 GB DDR5 RAM on board and 2 TB PCI Gen 4 SSD. Everything looks like next level on paper guys. So I'm like pretty excited to unbox and show you how this laptop looks like. So as soon as you open the package, you've got our laptop at the top side and by the way this is a review unit sent by the brand not a new unit so there you go guys our first look at the laptop and oh boy look at that baby we'll just come back to the laptop in a moment along with that you get an accessory box over here which includes some paperwork just make sure to read this and you also get like a fancy keychain for the keystone and as usual some customizable ROG armor caps for the laptop a 280 watt power adapter for charging and a main card for the adapter and last Lastly, in the package, if you're wondering what this tiny ROG box is, well, this is your external camera. Thing is, laptop doesn't have onboard camera, right? So you'll have to use this external solution. We'll talk about that at a later part. And that is it, guys. Now, let me give you all a closer look at the laptop and talk about the design and the build quality. So boys, here it is, our brand new ROG Strix Car 17 2022 edition. And that right there is a chunky boy. And compared to the previous gen, I don't see a big design overhaul or anything, just some slight design changes here and there. You've got the metal top lid in a dark grayish black sort of design. And you've got the ROG cutout over here. Logo has been slightly updated, guys. Previously, the entire logo used to be like RGB backlit. Now only the outer lines on it glow and the interior doesn't. You've got a diagonal line to the off center with little little ROG logos on it and looks quite minimalistic and classy guys but I do have to tell it attracts quite a bit of fingerprints and smudges so you may have to keep cleaning a bit. Going down here you've got those removable ROG armor caps you get three in the package you can replace them as per your tastes and preference. It's a translucent plastic sort of material keycap guys and actually shows you like the internals of the hardware. Now let me just give you all a closer look and show you all the available connectivity ports on it. Starting off from the left side you've got an exhaust vent over here, two USB 3.2 Type-A ports are available, 3.5mm audio jack is there and you see this translucent bar extending from left to all the way up to right. This is your RGB underglow light bar guys as usual. Uh, this is like their signature element. Now going to the other side, there's nothing much over here, one more exhaust vent and this is their traditional ROG keystone that you get with most of the ROG laptops. And if you look at the back side now, this is where you've got all your other remaining connectivity ports. You've got two more exhaust vents to the left and right with their MM6 easter egg mentioned as usual. And at the center you've got some more ports as I've told you guys. You get a Thunderbolt 4.0 on board, Type-C is also there which supports display port as well. And there's a full size HDMI, Ethernet port is available and last a DC in port for charging. 
So that's it. These are all the available ports and on the bottom, this is how the laptop looks like. You've got some rubber foot pads with nice ROG design in over here and some cutouts for air intakes and these are your downfiring woofers. You actually have like four speakers. We'll talk about the audio at a later part. And yes, the storage and RAM is upgradable. You've got two slots for each of them, but RAM is already occupied with like 32 gigs. On the storage, you've got one 2TB SSD already occupied. One more slot is free. So that's it, our complete overview on the exteriors. Now let me just open it up and show you how the interior look like. And as I've told you, build quality looks very good, sturdy body. It's like a mix between metal and plastic. Only the top lid panel is made of metal, while the remaining whole body is made of like polycarbonate, guys. And that too in like a translucent material and shows you the internals of the laptop. So talking about the display, as I've told you, our model features a 17.3 inch WQHD resolution display with 240 Hz refresh rate, 3 milliseconds panel is IPS. And as you can see, bezels are very thin on the sides and top, but on the bottom, you do have a bit of thick bezel. You've got the ROG Strix branding, no camera on board. You'll have to use that external camera. And going to the lower half here, you've got the full sized RGB keyboard. So what I'll do is I'll give you a closer look at the keyboard and then talk about that. So our brand new Strix Car 17 features a perky RGB LED backlit full-size chiclet keyboard and quality of the keyboard is pretty good. Now as far as I remember last gen ROG laptop actually featured their Opti mechanical key switches guys and I don't know why ROG actually removed that and went back to their regular rubber dome keyboard. I actually love that keyboard it gave you that mechanical sort of feel on a laptop especially because of that clicky sound and the complete feel was different. I don't know why ROG removed that maybe because people come complained about the sound and stuff. I don't know, you guys let me know. But talking about this particular keyboard, this is good, but I actually miss that mechanical kind of feel. Quality of the keys were nice. Key cap quality was also good. Tactile and feedback overall comfort experience was nice. And best part is it's got perky RGB lighting and RGB lighting on this keyboard is like fully controllable using Armory software. And you can even sync it with your RGB peripherals as well. Now coming down and talking about the touchpad, touchpad quality is nice. You get a premium quality glass cover touchpad in a decently big size and I had no issues with dead zones anywhere. It was easily recognizing all my inputs and gestures and you know I had a good time with this touchpad. Moving on let's talk about the main aspects of the laptop starting off with the display. Now there are a couple of different variants guys and you get like two different display variants. First is 15 inches 17 inches that is the size and second is you get like a 1080p variant and 1440p variant. 1080p is like 360 hertz so that is made for like eSport gamers and the other one is 1440 40p resolution one that supports 240 Hz refresh rate. So choice is completely up to you which one you want to go for. In the house we have the WQHD 1440p variant with 240 Hz refresh rate. So as I've told you it packs like a 17.3 inch WQHD 1440p resolution IPS display and best part is it's got like 240 Hz high refresh rate with 3 millisecond response time and on top of that it's got adaptive sync support, supports Dolby Vision HDR and it's also like 100% DCI P3 color gamut and also like out of the box like pre-calibrated from the factory and let me tell you display quality on this laptop is very good for this price point guys like one of the best displays I've actually seen on a laptop in the recent times there's so much amount of detail guys thanks that higher resolution everything looks like so crisp and clear guys especially text whenever you're watching any websites or blogs and color accuracy and reproduction are also very nice it was producing like rich and vivid with colors and I'm telling you right you'll have a great time watching any sort of media or movies and dynamic range is also good and since it supports Dolby Vision HDR right you'll have a great time watching movies guys especially in like Netflix or Amazon Prime video. Only thing I felt during my usage is brightness of the display was slightly on the lower side it's got like 300 nits now that is like most mostly sufficient for your day-to-day -day usage you won't have an issue but you know if it had slightly higher brightness you would enjoy watching content in HDR especially you know movies or web series and talking about the sound as I've told you it's got like four drivers on board two tweeters and two down firing woofers and audio quality on this laptop is actually pretty good guys I was like really satisfied it was producing good audio clarity minimum distortion even up to like 95% volume level and audio output was also loud and satisfactory I had a good time watching videos either on YouTube or maybe any sort of platform Sony A7 IV, my most expensive camera purchase for our channel. Hey guys, Vimal here and welcome back to my channel. So as I've told you, this is my new camera, Sony A7 Mark IV. And this video is going to be all about that. Now comes the important part, 
How is the performance? With specs like Intel 12th Gen i9 and RTX 3070 Ti, there is nothing less you can expect over here. 12900H is a 14 core 20 thread monster featuring 6 P cores and 8 E cores with a max turbo clock of up to 5 gigahertz. No matter what sort of task you threw at it, this machine was handling it like a breeze guys. I had a dozen chrome tabs open, 4K video streaming on YouTube and editing on Photoshop all of these simultaneously and the laptop didn't even flinch. That is what I'm talking about, that kind of performance you can expect over here. It's great not only for gamers but even for creative and productive sort of applications. You can easily do your color grading and 4K video editing without a sweat. And coming to the gaming part, our variant is powered by RTX 3070 Ti with 8 gigs of VRAM and a max TGP of up to 150 watts with Dynamic Boost 2.0 and gaming performance was excellent guys during my testing. You can play any AAA title game with ultra graphics at 1440p resolution with buttery smooth results. Look at this demo, I'm playing Doom Eternal right now at 1440p resolution ultra graphics and getting around 160 FPS on an average. Gameplay feels muska on this laptop. I mean, just look at that! And before you ask, let me tell you, yes, we've got Max switch on board and resize bar support and we were testing in the discrete GPU mode and high performance profile was toggled. I even test games like RDR2 at 1440p Ultra and Shadow of the Tomb Raider as well and got around 80 FPS on an average on RDR2 and 1 or 2 FPS on SOTR. Ray tracing performance is also good, but as soon as you toggle it, performance drops by almost 40% and on Shadow of the Tomb Raider, RTX enabled at 1440p p we got around 55 fps on an average which is still pretty good i would say see if you want a great gaming experience with ray tracing then i'd advise you to switch the resolution down to 1080p there's a big improvement in the performance compared to the previous gen scar gaming laptop in fact this new 3070 ti variant even beats the 3080 powered scar laptop 2021 edition by almost five to six percent and talking about the thermals, thermals have definitely improved, slight improvement is there compared to the last gen at least on the CPU side. We were getting around 85 to 86 degrees even after 1 hour of gaming. And if you slightly elevate the laptop from the surface, right, that actually improved the overall situation. And by using a cooling pad, you can even further reduce the temperatures by almost 8 to 9 degrees. Though I have to say, GPU was hitting slightly on the higher side only. It was reaching around 85, 86 degrees on an average. I guess that is because of the 150 watt boost, you know, in the power bump. So this is something ROG might have to look into. Fan noise was definitely audible in the high performance profile and can be a bit disturbing while gaming unless you are wearing a headset. We're almost coming to an end so let me tell you about the battery life. SCAR 17 packs a 90 watt hour battery and was kinda mediocre guys just like any other gaming laptop. On an average at 50% brightness in the performance profile while browsing web, watching videos on YouTube, I was getting around like 4.5 to 5 hours of battery life. Well, that is it for today, our video on ROG's latest Strix Car 17 2022 edition gaming laptop. Absolutely gorgeous machine guys, both inside and outside, comes with a beautiful display that is super fast at the same time and offers next level performance. Hardware is top notch, that is what I can say. Couple of things though I can mention over here is, there is no G-Sync support over here, only Adaptive Sync is there and no card reader available. There is no onboard camera as well so you'll have to always rely on that external camera which can be a bit annoying sometimes and a bit high GPU temperatures. Apart from that everything else is fine. Our variant costs around 2.5 to 2.6 lakh rupees in India, links will be in the description box below. So what do you people think about the laptop? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. And that is it for today guys, I hope you all enjoyed watching, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos. And I'll see you all in my next one.